In this video I'm going to show you how to crop photos for your cards so that all the photos are the same dimensions and set in the right number of pixels. So we're going to figure out how many pixels we want this according to your layout. Uh, generally speaking you don't want these pictures to be any wider than about 500 to 600 pixels and that would be again images for cards because on the what desktop those are going to go across the screen so they'll be used smaller the only time they're going to be used at full width would be for um, for if the phone view so the first thing we're going to do obviously is open the pictures we want and I would open all the ones that you want to crop at the same time it'll make it'll save time and make things easier so I have the picture open I'm going to hit the crop tool in Photoshop and that brings up the crop dialog at the top. It also uh, outlines the photo in a crop box with handles on all, every corner and every side. Up here, I'm going to select, it may come open on ratio. I'm going to select WXHX resolution. And in the first box, I know I want this picture to be 600 pixels wide and I know that I want it 750 pixels tall. So I can just click and drag to move this box around to where I want it to be. Click and drag on the corners to bring it in to the size that I want it. You'll want to size these pictures so that they are, so that the image inside of them is approximately the same size in each picture. So if you have pictures of people, you want to have their heads the same size across. In this instance, I'm making pictures of cupcakes, so I'm going to want the cupcakes to be approximately the same size in each photo. Once I have it selected in the size I want, I'm going to hit enter twice, and that will commit it and crop it um, to the size that I want. I can hit control or command plus to blow this up a little bit bigger so that you can see the picture. Uh, control or command minus makes it smaller. So leaving this um, crop tool selected um, will make it easier for me to do additional ones. Before I move on to any other pictures, I just want to go ahead and save this one. Um, so what I'm not going to hit save, I'm going to hit export. That's under file, export and we want export as so that we can control the settings. This pops open the export as dialog box. It is automatically set to format of JPEG and quality of 100%. Width is 600 and height is 750. That's what I just cropped it to. The canvas size is going to be the same for that and we want to convert to sRGB. Now, we may need to change the image quality if the size of the photo in kilobytes is uh, too big. So, for example, if I were to open or if I were to try to export a larger picture like a hero image, I would probably need to reduce the quality in order to keep this under 300 pixels. Uh, 300 pixels is about as big a photo as you want to save to use on the web. So this is 358. I want to bring the quality down a little bit. I'm just going to click on the quality uh, down arrow and I can slide this over to um, say 88%. That's not a magic number in here on quality. I'm just trying to get this number in the like 200 to 250 range um, since this is going to be a fairly small photo on my site. So I can hit export. Oh, for the quality, you don't want to make it any smaller than 80%, maybe 75% at the smallest, uh, or you start uh, having problems with pixelization. So to export this, I'm just going to hit export, and I will export it to my images folder. So I'm going to navigate to that. It's Mine is on my desktop just for the sample. Um, for this sample video I'm doing for you, yours will be in your um, website in the COM270 slash final folder. 
So in my images folder, I'm going to go ahead and save this and I want to name it something that I'll be able to find easily later. Leaving it with the Adobe stock number is not very useful to me. So I'm going to call it Cupcake Cherry. I don't have to save, choose the save as type because it's automatically going to save it, save it as a JPEG, which is what I just told it to do. So I'm going to hit enter and this has saved it as a JPEG into that folder. When I close the image, I can hit the X to close it. I do not want to save the changes in to the original file. It comes up with the original file name. I want to make sure that I hit no so that I don't copy over the original file. Now, when it moves on to the next photo that I already have open, uh, since I'm already selected on the crop tool, it's going to bring up the crop box size that I already have at the top in the crop tool bar. That's very handy, which is why you should have all the photos open at the same time. Now I can just click and drag the corners, click and drag the image uh, or the box over so that I have the image in the size that I want it. Let's do a little bit of adjustments and enter twice. <laughs> enter or enter twice depending on what it wants to do. That time it only wanted me to hit it once. Photoshop can be a little weird sometimes. I don't actually have to pull this, make this bigger to be able to see it. I can see it fine the way it cropped it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save on it or rather hit export, export as. Again, I'm going to check the file size. This is only 278 kilobytes, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. Checking to make sure that the width and the height are still 600 by 750. In my case, yours will be whatever you need for your website. Hit export, change the name, and put this in the images folder. Note the images folder came open automatically. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. Again, not doing any changes, so I don't want to save the changes. Hit no. And all the rest of these photos that I have in here are also cupcake photos. Uh, you should have the idea of what we're doing at this point, so I'm not going to do the rest of these, but I do want to show you what I would do with a hero image. So for the hero image, this one's already cropped basically the way I want it. If it's not, I need to reset the height and width uh, in the dialog box at the top of the crop window. The easiest way to do that is to hit clear. And what this has done now is made it possible for me to pull out the edges to the size that I actually want it to be. Okay, or rather the shape I want it to be. So I am cropping a little bit off of the left. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Now I need to kind of tell it what size I want to export it. I can do that here again through the width and height resolution box, or I can do it on export itself. I will hit export, export as. And we'll notice that this comes in with a width of 7,380 7, pixels and a size of 9.4 megabytes. That's way too big. I want this to be closer to 1500 pixels. So I'm going to highlight the number in the image size, type in 1500. It automatically changed the, changes the height proportionally. So I maintain the size or the proportions of the photo, the, um, the aspect ratio of the photo, um, but I'm setting it at 1500 pixels. Um, you'll see that this is now at 553 kilobytes. I still want to make that a little bit smaller, so I'm going to change this to um, quality of 80% should bring it about right. That's 241 kilobytes. That will be fine for my website. And I'm going to hit export and rename this as Cupcake Guy. And make sure I put hero in there so I know it's a hero image and hit save. 
So those are the ways that you would export photos for either a hero image or for uh, cards to make them all the same size.